Welcome back. My name is Maligan and this is Unonauts X Division. So we finished another one. Oh, come on. They just don't want to be fighting here. Okay. They disappeared. Research is going, production is going. Fine. Okay. So we have enough MK1 rifles. Uh, we are going to make one of the machine guns for our tank, Hunter Scout Gun. We disassemble those. We are going to make two more Hunter Scout cars. So we have enough as backup. The Division Rifle MK2. The Division Rifle MK2 is a marginal improvement over the MK1, providing a slightly longer range and a larger ammo clip capacity and some armor mitigation. But with the same damage at the cost of kinetic cores expected from alien kinetic weapon, as well as some alien alloys. We think we may be able to devise a way to re retrofit this model into something more capable though. Okay, we have new research. Let's see. Um, I... I... Uh, we, we definitely need to interrogate you. This was a season running the operation very well. We will question him. The scout op operator. Bam. Okay. You go there. Let me check the vision of weapons. Rifle, we need ballistic cores, A and alloys, and no MK1. Okay. So the MK1, let me first do this. Transfer stuff to the Russian base and A and ballistic rifles. We don't need those here. Phaser rifles don't need those, alloys, nope. Transfer all of these. Let's see how good they are. I mean, it doesn't really matter, we have to build them either way. So 18 range, 40 damage. Uh, two more range. Mitigation is 10, which is quite a bit. And the same, the rest is the same, it is. Okay, so we need to make the MK2s and the game is telling me that they will be, I will be able to upgrade those to MK3s later on. And the MK1s I can ship off to North America. That is the plan. Division Shotgun MK2. The Division Shotgun, Division Shotgun MK2 delivers 20% more damage by firing 12 rather than 10 slugs and sports an ammo clip capacity of 12 rather than 10. With the shock effect of the previous version is retained unchanged. This comes at a su substantial price requiring ballistic cores. However, we think we may be eventually able to upgrade those. Sniper rifles definitely like shooting things from a distance. Then you are going to love the upgrade we have planned for our MK1 sniper rifle. So the shotgun. So previously we have three range, some damage. It is the same, but mitigation. No mitigation. We just shoot 12 instead of 10. Or we get 12 damage instead of 10. And a little bit more ca ammo capacity, which is nice. Yeah, okay. Okay. Definitely going to look into that. Before, I need to get the... Uh, I definitely need to get the... Sniper rifles up and running. Because the sniper rifle is more important. So we have two, uh, no, we have now the better weapon, the vision machine gun, which uh, looks like a beast. It can fire more, which it is showing in the art, which is nice. Okay, we got five more engineers. We are going to um, put you on the hunter scout car. Then we can finish that faster. 
Okay, uh, what we can do for the time being, transfer uh, some of the armor. Uh, jacket arm, we only have one. Don't really need to transfer one armor. We had, we have made five. So it doesn't, we do have more armor, but we should unequip armor of our other guys. You don't need to wear armor by staking base, I hope. I mean, we could keep one armor. Nah. There we go. Now we can transfer. Five jacket armor. Bam. Should uh, increase survivability in Northern America. Good, we got 300 scout cars. Um, we are waiting for the research. Let's try to get another ballistic core. We need those. Because they are important. Ballistic rifle is finished. We can dissect stuff. Not really useful right now. We can get some energy cores. Meh. We could, yeah, we probably should disassemble some UFOs. We, are, we don't have that many, we have three. To get all the um, components and some alien alloy, which we are definitely going to run out of. Couple small ones. We can even check 14k, 2k. Return to base, let me get the Foxtrot out. Let's uh, prepare a uh, team. So this is going to be a small, not a very small. So we're going to send the best team we have. Bam, bam, bam. So they can learn a little bit more and we have the potential to maybe capture some more aliens. So you are looking fine. I mean the piss is totally useless, to be honest. Um, we can always get some, uh, some explosives of someone else. Shit is just big enough to not be able to carry that. Another two grenades, because you're pretty, pretty much, oh yes, flames rubber. Uh, maybe not, maybe you're just going to run. If something comes up to you that is good enough to kill you, you're just going to run away. You seem fine. Uh, maybe, maybe instead of that, another good grenade. Uh, you have a shotgun with some ammo. You get another grenade. You are the same. Um, the potential is that we have a Reaper. Now, I don't want to risk losing people to a repair attack. So you're going to get f a flamethrower. And you may, you're probably not able to, but we will try here. Yeah. I mean, we can reduce the weight. Okay. You have a med kit, which is good. You get jacket armor. Oh, I forgot. Nope, you're the first one. You get the MK1. Bap, bap. Nice. You have far too much healing. Get an explosive. Instead of these grenades, you get the good ones. You seem fine. With a new weapon, you probably are good to go. Let's uh, save that as default as new default 
What else can we give you? A small med kit? Not really. Another grenade, I guess. Um, you cannot carry any more stuff. Uh, you definitely get a new weapon. Bam bam. Bam bam. Which means you cannot carry any more. But we are, I hope, um, somewhat decently prepared for potential attack. David Rice, we have a flamethrower. Let's put you in the middle. Launch interception. Bam. Now the other base. Um, okay, we have the jacket armor. Perfect. And we do have some grenades. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. It is just a lot more beneficial. You don't need stun rods. Let the other base get a uh, target stunned. You just worry about surviving. Don't need that. Uh, check your armor. It is more important to get those. Okay. Do we have rockets? We do. And you get some some acid grenades. Acid grenades are just too important to not have. So you remove that. You get two of each, which is too heavy. Remove your healing. Okay, you can you can get one bandage. We're going to remove a grenade. Here you go, happy. We don't have uh, okay. We're going to remove armor here. And you can get another little bandage and you definitely get armor. As the one running in front, you you are more or less you're allowed to have armor. To be a little bit selfish and get yourself armor. And uh, I guess what do we need? Heavy weapons. Bam. Heavy weapons. Oh, equipped to fall. No. You are pretty wounded. Get a rifleman in. That is pretty bad. Not a good rifleman. Where are you? Oh, it is you. Okay. Carry a bit of that. We don't have armor. Uh, um, yeah, we don't have armor. Um, do, 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 do. Are we able to hire more soldiers? We don't have space. Okay. Now the hope is that this one is getting shut down quite quickly. Auto resolve. The Shino goes into the direction. Eh. There we go. The Division Sniper Rifle MK2 provides twice the armor mitigation of the MK1, but is otherwise comparable in performance. Its manufacturer requires blah blah blah, and we hope we can upgrade. Okay, we are going to get the AIM Phaser Heavy, an AIM machine gun capable of firing energy based rounds. This should really help further our understanding of energy-based weapons. And after that we get some of a section going. And there you mini shield, which probably doesn't lead us to new shielding. I could be wrong though. Um, let's compare. So the normal one has 10 mitigation. What is about about you? Okay, so 2480, this is not the, okay, 2480, so 20 mitigation, and a little bit more suppression, but that is it. However, 20 mitigation is pretty good. We don't really have anything that is, that can mitigate armor that heavily. 
Uh, we are definitely going to bid at least two of you. And we can. After we finish the machine guns. Turn to overland. Oh. Oh, okay. That I did not think would happen. But we have a live UFO. That our scrub team is going into and they are going to win. Which is a lie, they will not. At least we have the scout tank. Uh, is it a small map? It is a relatively small map. Let's hope it is seasons. It is a billion. Hooray. Yay. Ooh. Suppress him. Fine. I don't really need to check here. Okay, civilians. Hmm. Now, luckily, they are not going to have any uh, Reaper because it is a small, a very small. So, please, game, don't send Reaper. Thank you. We do have the rocket launcher, which is quite handy. Because um, Sabine turns out are pretty tanky. So I have to take any advantage I can get. Okay, he's running. There's another one down there. So he has some kind. Uh, I don't. I wanted to check. Do I need to stun him? Possibly. Can I stun him? No. So I don't know why I want to check. Someone was down here and sh shot. Come on. There we go. It's a red guy. Uh, which we probably had at some point. The problem is we don't have any stun equipment. We are just going to shoot away the cover. And I mean by shoot away the cover, shoot away the civilian. Dead is dead. We cannot really afford any... Any... We don't have any leeway in dealing with civilians. They are just too dangerous. So there we go. Get a sniper down. You run over here. You did your job, which is good. Okay, there's a flamethrower inside on the second floor. I thought for a moment they had shot through the wall, which I would not put it past the game. Oh, look who it is. It's a billion. Look who it is. Still a billion. Which I can't really do much about. Unless we are hitting this grenade, which we did. Perfect. Now, Hai Shang said he will die. At least, I hope he does. Uh, you reloaded your rocket. I mean, I can potentially try to shoot through. But the problem is the wall is in the way and we need to shoot out the wall first. Which not really possible with the sniper. Okay. No one here. That is fine. Good for me. I do have a little bit of a timer here. Because this whole field is going to burn down. And it's, it's going to burn down fast. He somehow survived the uh, acid. No clue how. He did. And he not only... Oh, he's right there. Okay, we did hit him. We did not wound him in any way. The stupid wall is 
still in the way. Okay, now we would be able to shoot through. Which means that he can now shoot through. Uh, we can we can shoot another one. A fair amount of damage, not much. Getting you into another position, you run up. We do know there's a red guy down there. You go and get into a position. Okay, we are not going to assault this ship with only three guys. So we are going to stay somewhat passive. He didn't die. How are you still alive? Even... what? Come on, just die already. How do you miss? Oh my god, okay. The... The farmer with a shotgun did more than my soldiers could do. That is absurd, okay. You go into some... some kind of cover. Um... We could... No, we can't. We cannot. I'm not going to try to... Shoot between a couple stacks here in the hopes that I am not going to uh, hit anything on the way and die. Or at least make it uh, impossible to move through. There's, okay, there's a civilian. I see you. I see you there. Now, Potentially. Uh, we, we are going to stay. Not, not going to do much. If I could, I would throw over the forest. Over the trees. But we cannot. However, my sniper could potentially shoot through the hatch. Uh, sadly, they do have a timer. No. Good. How about you take this? How about I am going to miss? Did you did you ever think about missing? Missing is fine. Twenty six. That means we cannot go into cover, which I am not a fan of. At least, you are unable to move out. That allows me to just roll around. You're in a little bit of a position there that you can't really go out, I hope. Okay, hatch number one. Okay, the other one is still up and running. He's still over there. 37. Good enough. Good. We got some kind of hit. Let's hope he dies. Uh, different to the other one. He did. What are you doing? What? Oh, come on. Why? Why did you run in there? It doesn't seem like we got any morale hit, I hope. To just uh, suppress him. You need to reload. You go into a position where you can throw a grenade. Perfect. He now, hopefully, will die. The big problem, I have to hope. That he's going to die. Okay, just to make sure, but I'm I did hear him do the dying sound. So he's dead. This allows me to run 
through the ship to the back. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, good. Got that sorted somehow. Don't want to leave my turn here or end my turn there, where they can just go out and turn around, shoot me. Uh, you are suppressed. I hope you die. You did perfect. Don't run into that. Thank you. Oh, come on. Ooh, look at that green smoke. Green smoke was never bad. Let's run into it. Hmm, somehow it is burning me. Better stay in that green smoke. Okay, I can't really run around the stone. That is why my guys want to run through in front of the alien ship. Okay, you have to move. Fire is burning. The barn seems to be empty. No aliens have shot in the last couple of turns. Even with civilians running through. So that seems fine. I'm going to guess that only... The last aliens are inside the ship. Maybe there could be someone behind the tractor here. Nope. Good. So you move. Ah, okay, we are, we are going to move you back. So you move around here. You need to reload. You need to reload. You cannot reload. We will sort that out somehow. Okay, you both stay over there. You take position behind the tree. Okay. Rocket launcher moving up. You're going to drop and drop. Have the rocket launcher pick that up. Next turn he can reload for you. Um, you don't have a lot of HP. You have a little bit more. Get the tank into a better position where he's going to wait. Ooh, time. Ooh. Okay. I have to stop here. I know it's not it's not long. We will we will to finish this mission but we have another mission coming up right after this so stay tuned thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time